Hi there everyone, my name is Christian and today I am going to be showing you how to make a little pop-up when your user clicks a button for iOS. Um, this tutorial is in Xcode 5, so we'll make our single view application. You can make it for Universal, you can make it for iPad, iPhone, Just we'll just do Universal, it'll be easier. So we'll name this up pop-up tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. It's very easy to implement into any app. Now, we'll go to our iPhone. We'll just do it on iPhone. Uh, you're going to come over here to your objects. You don't want to be in your classes. You don't want to be in uh, that crap. You're going to come over here and you're going to click on button. So, you can name the button instructions. So, when your user is playing a game or if they're on the menu, if they click the little instructions button, it'll bring up a little pop up with the instructions. But for us today, we are just going to leave that where to go. Oh, okay. There. We are just going to come over here and we're going to make it an info button because uh, we're going to show the users some information about what our app is. So now we'll go to our view controller.h. This should work, I hope. And we're going to do IB action. Get rid of this garbage at the end. We're going to name it information. Now, if you're making an information button, you like uh, like this down here, right there. You have to name it information, I believe, or else it will not work. That that's what happened to me last time. So under implementation, the view controller, we're going to come down. We're going to do IB action, just like we did last time. This is in view controller.m now. The last one was in view controller.h. You should be should have been able to see that though. Just Want to clarify? We'll do information. If I could type, come down here, do that. Uh, here's some code. I will just paste it in because it takes too long to type, and um, I'll walk you through it. What it is. So you don't need this garbage, which that won't be in the description or it shouldn't be. So that's our little information box. Now, right here is where we're making the pop-up. It's going to be an alert view. And that'll be our title, like in bold at the top. Now, message. We're just gonna say this is a tutorial application on how to make a button pop up for iOS made in Xcode five. So. After we type that, you would type in delegate self and then cancel button with title done. So when the user clicks the done button at the bottom, it'll take them back to whatever they were doing. And then alert show. So that's pretty simple. Now if we come over to our main iPhone storyboard, we click over here. We have to click the little border on the outside so until it highlights blue so we'll get it at the top works best. So when it's highlighted blue like that, you're going to grab your information. You're going to drag it down here under received actions. It's under the little arrow at the end. You're going to drag it down there and you're going to do touch up inside. Now this should work, I hope. I sometimes have problems with this. Uh, let me just make sure everything's okay while I'm looking. It looks like it. So where's our button? One thing I hate about the uh, only having, not having my external monitor yet, or adapter for my new computer, I have to, I'll just move that up to the middle so we can actually see it. The screen obviously isn't very, uh, the height isn't very big, so we'll click that and there you go, information. This is how to make a tutorial application on how to make a, well, well I, I, that just sounds retarded, um, but you know, it works. So you can make your little menu and you could have some information. You could have an little instructions button, which I'll just show you how to do that for iPad real quick. It's the same exact thing. So is there a way to scroll out? I believe there is. Yeah, come on. Whatever. The tutorial is basically over now. Um, so we'll add our button. I'll just name it instructions. 
So this button, or the uh, little info button is perfect for telling about your brand in your app, so maybe people will check out your other ones. I actually don't have any apps on the App Store right now. I'm going to, got to buy my license in a little bit. Not today, but in a few weeks once I actually make something that's decent. So, viewcontroller.h, this, if you want to, you could just click off the tutorial by now, but, um, if you're leaving, thanks for watching. I'll just name it uh, instructions because that's what we named the other thing. Then we're going to do the same exact thing that we did over there. IB action instructions. Now, I know some people like to do go like that. I just I don't really like that that much for some reason. Just not how I was taught to code. So we'll paste that in again, and we'll just name it instructions because why not? Typed it bad, but click button, play app, fun, yeah, much while. Like I said, this code right here, without this part, because you don't need that, will be in the description, so you don't have to type all that. Cause I tried to do a tutorial typing it all, and it just took too long. Um. So, same thing as last time, we gotta come over to our main iPad storyboard. Gotta come up here to the top, click on it so it highlights blue. Then we can grab our instructions. Okay, where is it? There it is. Instructions. And then touch up inside. You always wanna do that, almost always. So, stop, you know, do this again. And I accidentally loaded the iPhone. Sorry for such a bad tutorial. I just haven't made a YouTube video in forever, and this is the first video on this channel. And I've I've never done a coding tutorial actually, so hopefully it's okay. I'll get better. So instructions. There you go. Simple. It works. Uh, I might put the whole source code in the description. I don't know if I will or not, but I'll at least put the uh, long part, which is under viewcontroller.m, right there. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to me for Android uh, tutorials, Xcode tutorials, and then I might be doing some tutorials and processing to show you how to make some iPhone, Linux, I mean not iPhone, Mac, Linux, and PC apps, whatever you need you to know how to do. So simple tutorial. Uh, if anyone wants to be my first subscriber, that'd be wonderful. If you are, do become my first subscriber. Subscribe. And we'll have tutorials at least one to two times a week on games, simple tutorials like this, and other stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a great day.